lovely ones. Welcome back to the vlog. It has been a while. Uh, and I've actually got some fabrics to show you, which has definitely been a while as well. Um, obviously, as you may remember from previous vlogs, we have closed our bricks and mortar shop, but we do still have an online shop and we do still have um, a selection of our fabrics and haberdasheries um, in the studio as well. So people can buy them when they come here on classes, uh, but you guys can buy them from around the world on our website. And I've been really, really lax at shouting about any of our new fabrics so I thought that today I would do a quick vlog um, just with an overview of some of our new um, autumnal fabrics some of my favorites just quickly before I start I am I, I do realize that I look like I haven't made an effort for this and I'm sorry um, I <laughs> have run in clean the studio ready for tomorrow's classes uh, after a gym class I went to this morning and I'm on my way to uh, another gym class now. Um, so that's why I look like this, but I am actually wearing me made, so I feel like it's okay. Um, I can't remember if I've shown you this before on the vlog, but this is the Closet Core hoodie, um, which I absolutely love. It's like cropped, a uh, little pocket, and I made it out of one of the reversible quilted ponties that we had in uh, last year, I think it was. Okay, so I'm gonna jump straight in with a few of my favorite autumnal fabrics. Um, it's starting to get a little bit cooler. The season's starting to change. I definitely have decided it's pretty much nearly jumper or sweater season. And I think the tights are gonna have to come out soon. So yes, I am diving in with cottons. And you might think, well, that's not a particularly um, autumnal fabric, but these babies are uh, soft brush cottons. We've got a couple of prints in these, but I've grabbed these ones. This one is nearly out of stock actually, but I will um, definitely be grabbing some more. These are so soft. So they're 100% cotton, but they've got this soft brushed finish. So that's one of the tartans. We've got a couple of different colorways in that. And then this floral, I just love. Um, let me just hold it up for you. So you can see it's kind of a medium weight cotton. Um, really cozy, really soft. And then there's that, I'm not sure if it'll pick up on the camera, but it's got like a brushed finish. So lovely. And I just love the colors on this. Let me just move this light a little bit towards me. I'm not sure if that's gonna light me up or, but hopefully it'll help you see the fabrics. They are so perfect for anything kind of, soft and cozy that's made out of a woven fabric. So for example, we've sold loads over the last couple of weeks because people are making pajama bottoms and pajamas out of them. So something really simple like the Tilly and the Buttons Jamie pajama bottoms, or those of you that want to um, kind of elevate your skills and are a bit more advanced, you could do the Closet Core Carolyn pajamas. They would also make really lovely shirts, um, I am a massive fan of the Deer and Doe Bruyere shirt. But there's so many other shirt patterns that these would work for and shirt dresses. Yeah, they're just really lovely for this time of year. Another fabric that you might think, oh, is rayon really a um, kind of autumnal fabric? But I think so, as long as it's the right weight and the right quality and the colors aren't um, particularly summery. And we have got two beautiful ones in at the moment. Now these, are a really lovely, super soft, um, opaque, very opaque rayon, um, which is just really, really nice to work with. Perfect for blouses, dresses. Sorry, I haven't got my lip then. Um, and the prints are just beautiful. And because they've got black backgrounds, I think I'm holding that one upside down. Because they've got black backgrounds, they are lovely for wearing with tights. Um, so I, I really love this one. And we have got an old favorite back in because I love it so much, which is this next one called Midnight Eden. 
because I just think the print is stunning. It's so striking. And again, you can kind of layer, layer round up. If you're anything like me, I can't decide whether I'm hot or cold most days. So look at that. Love that one. Really, really beautiful. And again, it's a black background, but all those lovely colours that you could pair with so many things. Uh, I'm thinking like a maxi dress with tights and boots or even um, the complete opposite, a mini dress with tights and boots. I'm really into the whole loose fitting, um, slouchy, you know, like the Roscoe, the True Bias Roscoe, Tilling the Buttons Indigo, um, the Friday Pattern Company. Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue, the W one. I'll pop it up here like I've done with the other ones. <laughs> Sorry guys, my brain's gone. But yeah, I um, think that they're just perfect for this season. And then a couple of jerseys, which again, these are cotton jerseys, but I just can't resist the prints. You can see I've kind of gone darker now because of the seasons. So we've got this one, which is Magnolia May. Again, black background really lovely and then this one for those of you that aren't quite so keen on black and prefer navy which i know a lot of people do um we have this one which is poppy paradise and this has got the navy background oh you can't see me now <laughs> i'm just hiding in between my beautiful jerseys ah oh, they are lovely i love them um, yeah, perfect. Really nice, um, good weight. So they'll definitely, definitely good for autumn. Um, they'd probably be a little bit too heavy for summer stuff. So yeah, they're coming into their own now. Really good recovery. They ping back nicely. Um, they don't show the white background. And yeah, really, really lovely quality. Perfect for sort of long sleeve tops, um, jersey dresses. Oh, this is where I start putting all of these in a really messy pile. Um, but it, again, a lot of the time in this kind of weather, when I'm not quite sure what to wear, I do end up wearing a lot of fitted tops and um, jeans with boots, which I know some people might say is not particularly exciting, but that's why I love prints because you can wear a really lovely um, printed jersey top and then pair it with boots and you still look like you've made an effort. Um, right, oh, this one I included because I want to make another one of these um, hoodies, sweatshirts, and I just love this fabric. It's quite unusual. Um, so it is called All A Leaves. It's a French terry jersey. And the print that you can see at the moment, this pattern, is technically on the inside. Um, so we've got these blues and these oranges in this kind of quite uh, recognisable print. Um, on the inside, it's just this really soft grey sweatshirting, soft grey jersey you see with like a mild finish. And then this is a loopy French terry finish. So I said this was the inside. This is technically the outside, the right side of the fabric. And then this is the kind of warm, cozy um, inside. But the print is so amazing. I think you could just pick and choose what you wanted. Um, the gray on the inside is plenty soft enough to wear close to your skin. So you could have that on the inside and the lovely um, print on the outside. Or you could kind of just do contrasting cuffs and collars and things like that. Um, up to you. Oh, the this one here, I'm going to show you. Regular viewers will have seen this many times, although not necessarily in this colourway. Um, but I wanted to let you know that we have restocked some of our Beatrice Ponty Romas. So these are so popular. I've made loads of things with this. Um, I made a really lovely heather dress last year, which I absolutely love. I'll pop up there in our royal blue. Um, this is the hot pink colourway that's just arrived. Um, we've also got it in like a turquoisey colour, an aqua. We've got it in black and navy and I think a green as well. Um, but it's just beautiful. It's a really nice um, sort of soft 
medium weight ponty so it's definitely heavier than kind of your cotton jerseys and things but it's not super super thick um it's got a, a fair bit of structure to it so you can see it's got stretch but it's not super 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 stretchy um i think it's got about 40 percent stretch so it's a really lovely one. It's got a quite high viscose content as well, which gives it that softness and a little bit of drape and fluidity. Um, but obviously the weight stops it from being super drapey. But yeah, I just love the colours and the quality of them. Um, I've got so many of these that I've just worn and washed time and time again. And this fabric just wears so well. So I love it. Um, and then two more quick little fabrics. Um, that I wanted to show you. You can see they coordinate beautifully in the background there. This is actually a wool boucle, so it's quite a uh, drapey one. It's a lighter weight wool than you get. So this is more dress weight rather than, you could make um, jackets out of it, but you'd obviously want to interface it, line it, etc. cetera. Um, but this is perfect for dresses and skirts and trousers. And you can see it's got that lovely boucle finish. Um, really lovely, soft pink color. I really like it. It's funny actually, because um, I changed my hair color over the summer and I'm drawn to different colours that I would not normally be drawn to. And I actually really, really like that soft pink. Interesting. And then the final one. Da, da, da. Oh, get my best reach over. We had this in last year. That was my creaky chair, sorry. We had this in last year and I just couldn't resist it. Um, again, we had it in pink, but that's sold out. Um, so I will get more of that, but we've restocked this blue and it is a really beautiful, soft, um, chunky corduroy. Now this is a hundred percent cotton and it is really it's got like a really luxurious finish to it it's got a real sheen it's not shiny there's a big difference um but yeah really lovely sheen to it i've got it upside down which is why i'm doing that because the nap is going that way but this would be perfect for skirts um pinafore dresses trousers jackets um it's just so lovely and i just couldn't resist the color i feel like I've just gone for a run. I feel like I've just said all of that really fast. So if I have, I'm sorry, but this video is just shy of 15 minutes long. So I feel like it's quite tricky to get the balance between chatty long videos that then people say are too chatty. Um, and then videos where I'm giving you lots of info um, very, very quickly. So let me know in the comments what you prefer. Um, but yes, that was a little uh, whistle stop hello. Um, I do have some other videos coming. I have a exciting update video on some of our classes coming next week. Uh, they might be online. So uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, watch out for those. And I've got a couple of tutorials that I filmed. So um, I filmed an invisible zip tutorial last week and I will be putting that live uh, probably end of next week. So uh, I'm going to leave you to it now, guys, but I hope you're really well. If you've got any questions at all, pop them in the comments down below. I will link the fabrics as well and I will see you again really soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.